I'm Shane from Orange Hitches New Zealand Limited, a little small company in Motueka, sunniest town in New Zealand. Um, my story started about 15 years ago when we lived on a lifestyle block up Orinoco Valley and I needed a, well, I, thought I, I thought I was the first to think of it, uh, a, a tow bar to go on my tractor, three point linkage. I uh, couldn't find one on the net to buy so I went out the shed as Kiwis do and knocked one together, painted it green to match my tractor and stuck it on there and away we went. Um, I then thought if I can't buy one, probably other people can't either so we had a better attempt at making it and stuck it on Trade Me and we've sold probably close to a thousand of these since. Um, so that's kind of opened up all new areas for us. Um, at first it was a part-time thing, now it's become quite a, quite a big thing. Um, we now build, uh, this takes a two-ton trailer, we build right through to uh, hitches that can carry up to a 20-ton payload using quick hitch designs and also truck ring feeder couplings and a few different types of hitches for every application really on the farm. So as we, as we sort of progress, we, um, we brought a lot of different machines as you do uh, and we decided that to make things for economy of scale we needed a CNC plasma table to be able to cut the different pieces out. Uh, which has absolutely revolutionised what we do. We can now build all kinds of shapes, anything that you can imagine you can, you can cut pretty much and it's taken us to a whole new level. Obviously to make that there's a lot of bits in it. Um, our bigger tow bars have about 20 different items in them and obviously to build them faster and more economical and to be all the same. We recently brought the, the Arc Pro plasma table off ProLine and it has simply revolutionised what we do. It's been absolutely fantastic. We now um, throw a plate of sheet of steel on there and we can cut out half a dozen tow bars in, in probably a tenth of the time to what it took us before. And everything's the same. Um, it's, yeah, it's fantastic. Efficiency of scale, I guess, uh, was the big driver. Um, yeah, the guys, I have two young guys working for me and it just, you know, we are competing with, we're starting to compete with the Chinese imports and, and so forth. So. To be able to build something competitively that's still Kiwi made it was a was a big thing for us. So we like to sell direct to the client, which is, um, I believe, a real benefit to the customer. So to be able to build something economically that we can then market direct is, um, has been our goal, and the, the t plasma table has been a huge help for that. If you can imagine it, we can build it. Uh, so yeah, we've immediately like we had to go through all our designs and. All these different bits we now cut on the table and we stock them on a shelf with assigned part numbers to them so when the boys when I ask the boys to build something I say I need five of these I'll go grab the bits off the shelf and, and weld them together um, but it's allowed us to do uh, things like uh, for example a uh, ripper to go behind a tractor because we couldn't make shanks before because of the a ripper shank because of the shape so now we can cut out ripper shanks just it might sound simple but all of a sudden we can make rippers um, whereas we couldn't do that before, it was too hard, we had to buy bits in or outsource that or, or whatever it might be. Yeah. So when I came to buying one I thought where do I even start? So that was when I had a discussion with Tim and they had some coming into the country so then we talked about options of obviously there's the CNC side of it, then there's the, the plasma unit side of it. Um, I went down the strata track so we got the strata plasma because we run strata welders and we, we love that gear and uh, they matched it all together in the in the warehouse for me, I went in there and had a play with it, had, an op uh, had a turn at operating it and they showed me the ins and outs of it and by then I was hooked, there was no going back so we, um, we went ahead and bought it. The backup and support has been brilliant, uh, like anything we had a few teething problems when we got it in here um, but Frank was um, back, at, back at the factory was, um, sorry, back at the warehouse was fantastic, he was on the phone if we needed anything and it, yeah, no, everything worked really seamlessly. Oh, that's the brilliant thing about it and it blows me away. The only thing you've got to put in it is pretty much air and electricity and it goes. Uh, the consumables are obviously in the tip like any plasma, um, but the cost of, of that is insignificant to what it does. It's, it's absolutely you know, insurmountable to, to what we get in return. Uh, once we get into our bigger tow bars where there's about 25 different pieces of steel that we have to weld together, uh, we are cutting probably... 70 to 80 percent of that now with the CNC plasma table whereas before we had to buy lengths of steel and cut it into the right shape cut angles on it to radius the corners um, all that sort of thing so now it's just totally transformed 
how fast we can do that. And everything's the same. That's the best thing is that everything comes off the table exactly the same. So on our, our 13 tonne quick hitch, which is our most popular hitch, uh, it, there was about between 10 and 11 hours of labour to assemble one of those. That is weld it, uh, drill all the, do all the machining, sorry, drill all the holes, weld it together, paint it, package it, get it ready to go. We now do that in just under six hours because of the CNC side of it. So it's, it's almost halved our cost of labour to build that item. Uh, it's just the way it goes, eh? We've got young guys working for me and they're doing the same thing every day. There's going to eventually be mistakes, whereas the CNC has removed all that out of the equation. So this is our finished cut. Uh, we, I was a little bit sceptical at first about how good a quality it would be, but you can see that it's just it's phenomenal. I, did, I never thought it would be that good. Uh, so once it comes off the machine, um, we just take the slag off the back and give it a quick clean up and we're good to go. But that's it. Imagine how hard that would be to make that item there without a plasma table.